Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip. And uh, what we have for sale here today is two uh, 938G Series 2 wheel loaders. These are sister machines. They're within one serial number apart of each other. Uh, so I'm going to do a walk around and inspection video on each machine individually, but there are two available. So um, we're going to talk about the mechanics of the machine, the uh, operating specs, and then we'll run it for you guys. Price on a new machine like this these days about 195000 This machine that we're currently looking at has 6,210 hours on it. As far as manufacturers go, uh, Caterpillar obviously is the number one supplier in uh, heavy construction mining equipment. The weight of this machine is 29,500. is this bucket right here at 8 foot 6 inches. The tallest point is the top of that cap at 11 feet. The transportation length from the front of that cutting edge all the way to the counterweight is 24 feet. Comparable machines are like a Komatsu WA320, a 624J, or maybe a Volvo L90. As far as the history of this unit goes, like most of the machines we purchased, it's an original owner, Dallas, Texas machine with no rust. Um, we're in the middle of December and I'm wearing shorts right now, so that just goes to show you we're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see are the salt on, is the salt on our kitchen tables. We don't, uh, this machine is rust free. It comes from a well, a uh, large, well-organized contractor here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area who had a comprehensive maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. We, as well as our customers, have been happy with all the machines we purchased from these guys, and it should be said that before I buy any machine, my mechanics thoroughly inspect it first, and then I inspect it before I write a check. So we make sure that we uh, don't buy anything that has anything wrong with it. As far as options go, as you can see, this has got a uh, quick couple disconnect. It's got a set of forks. We'll go over the forks here in just a minute. Um, it's got a hydraulic fan. The benefit of a hydraulic fan is obviously that you can reverse it. And it's got a, I'm not sure why they, oops, I put that key in backwards. I'm not real sure why they have a lock on this, but they do. So if you look in there, the, it's pretty easy to, clean out. It's also got a, uh, if you look in there, you can see that this uh, radiator is hinged. So for purposes of cleaning the radiators out between the baffles, you can unhinge them. It's got an electric uh, hood. It's got a uh, remote kill switch right here. So, um, what else does it have? It's got a battery disconnect somewhere. It's on the other side. Here's a key battery disconnect. So. is in the cab it's uh it's got all the glass in it um, it's got a 12 volt outlet uh, in a couple of places there's one right there and one inside um, as far as the engine goes this is a cat uh, 3126 uh, cat diesel engine
It's 158 gross horsepower and 145 net. All the fluid levels on this machine are where they should be. All the lights and everything electrical works. It's uh, mechanically sound. There's no leaks. The transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Top speed is 22 miles an hour and forward, 14 in reverse. The brakes stop it on a dime. Obviously, this machine is inherently four-wheel drive. These tires are 100%. We just bought these tires. These are brand new tires. They have zero hours on them. They're 20.5, 25s. They all match. Like I say, they're, uh, they still have the... Uh, brand new tires um, the hydraulics are strong there's no cracks or welds anywhere at all in the work equipment all of the pins and the bushings are relatively tight This cutting edge is about 95%. It's never been turned. You got a full side on the other side and it's damn near new on the this side. This articulation joint in here has got almost no deflection at all. Okay, now so far as far as the bucket goes, I, I said earlier the bucket's eight foot six inches. It's not. It's eight foot ten in, ten and a half inches wide. That's eight foot ten and a half inches wide. It's four foot five inches tall, and the girth of the bucket or the depth of the bucket is three foot six inches. It's uh, about a three and a quarter yard bucket. Um, the static tipping load of this machine is 23,186 pounds and uh, the lifting capacity of this loader is limited by the static tip load which is simply stated is um, when the hydraulics on this the, the hydraulics on this machine are so powerful that the machine will actually tilt forward before the hydraulics give out so the lifting capacity is limited by the weight of the unit and in this case again it's 23,186 pounds we're going to look at the forks next. Okay, so the carriage height on both of these forks, you know, like I said, both these forks are interchangeable. They're the same thing. They're 36 inches tall. The carriage width is 7 feet. The tines themselves, you may want to come back over this way. The tines themselves are uh, 5 foot long. We got them in that stuff, but uh, there's nothing wrong with them. Um, they're six inches wide. So uh, those are the forks. All right, so this video is the 938G ending in 630. I'm gonna show the, uh, that all the monitor panel works. Everything on it works. Um, Here's your uh, auto select. You can jump from uh, manual to uh, you go from uh, it goes from second gear to fourth gear, or you can do this auto from one to four. Here's your lights. All the lights on this tractor work. Um, you've got a uh, a switch uh, deal right here that tilts your your steering wheel forward or backwards. Um, here's your windshield wipers. They work. This is your, um, I guess like you can put this in economy mode or, you know, power mode or I don't know what that mode is. Here's a little 12 volt uh, outlet so you can plug your iPhone or whatever device in. I'm not sure what this is right here. I, I want to say it's a, um, I don't know if this is ride control or what. This is your coupler right here. This is the uh, controls for your fan on your air conditioner, which work. Um, here's your brake. 
this is the seat this is the original caterpillar seat you got some manuals here I'm not sure what these are uh, it's just a fluids uh, manual recommendation and you've got another manual back here operations manual so you got those manuals that will go with the machine you've got a little uh, glove box or whatever right there there's your mirrors that's where a radio would go it doesn't have a radio so that's it we're gonna run it this is six three zero Thank mm -hmm. you.